Okay, so we're going to talk about universal design and getting color to read on the faces in our projects for Animate. So on this Leontine Price piece, the, the light color scan and the dark colored line are now reading at a, a nice three to one contrast ratio. So there's some tools that we've been using. We've been using the no copy color filter with Duratinopia to check our color blindness, right? But there's another um, color filter color picker tool, it's called Color Pick Eyedropper. This is a Chrome extension. And what you do is you go and you find one of the colors. So I'm gonna pick the skin color. And then that ends up putting, I'm gonna make this command plus so that we can maybe see. Okay, do you see that there's like a color number there in my, um, in this? I'm gonna copy that. And then we're gonna to go to um, aim. It's actually web aim contrast checker. So this is for universal design in order for people to be able to visually see um, the variances. So I'm gonna call it the background color. We're gonna change this FF, which is white, to this color and hit return. So that's the flesh color on Leontine right now. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to find their line color, which is this. And um, copy this color, take that and put it into a foreground. It doesn't matter which one was which, um, but you can see that this is a 4.28 um, uh, ratio. So this could have actually been lighter if they wanted to, if you're trying to have three to one color ratio. So three to one, well, that's darker. This is lighter. So you can see like, they could have gone as light as this and you can see kind of those color variances if I shift this to the darker now. Um, control V and then watch how that color shifts to darker. So there's there's quite a bit of shift in there and so this is what I want you to consider. Some of you that have have the characters that are um, quite a lot darker like Nicole finding a highlight color will really help the character to pop out. Um, so that's our next step as we... Um, Can you post a link to that, uh, the three to one ratio site in there? Yeah, yep, it's webaim.org and um, right now I can put it in our chat and then in the video I'll put it on the bottom for those of you that are watching the video. Thank you. Um, yeah, and actually, um, the link that I have is webaim.org slash resource slash contrast checker. But if you just put webaim.org, it will come in. So um, this is something that, I mean, it tests um, all of uh, uh, actually text, which is uh, something that's required for ADA compliance. Um, we're looking for, um, for the images to do a, a pass. And we've, we've determined that a three to one ratio allows for um, the, the work to visually be uh, standing out enough for people to recognize it. So this is not for font, this is for um, text or for, for uh, images. So any questions about that? No. Awesome.